Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is February 25th, 2021. And today is Thursday within the first Sunday of Lent. And our gospel for today is from the account of Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 to 12. And I would like to share it with you. Gathered on the hillside with the disciples, Jesus began to teach them, Ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open for you. For everyone who asks, receives, and everyone who searches, finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's a beautiful day today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. It's a sunny day. That's why I have my sunglass on. And I'm here at the park right beside, uh, I mean, I'm here at the park just in front of the, the parish and I think you can see behind me is the church and that's my rectory that's where the place where I live in anyways our gospel for today speaks about the three types of a prayer or if I may say the three kinds of prayer what are those asking seeking and knocking because the gospel for today is telling us, and I quote, Ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks, receive. And everyone who searches, finds. And for those who knocks, the door will be opened. End of the quote. But dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, in prayer, you know, we have our own personal styles. We have our methods. We have our ways, we have our approach of presenting our concerns and our petitions and intentions to the Lord. We have our ways of presenting the longings of our hearts, right? We have the ways of uh, presenting the deep, the innermost, deepest desire of our hearts. And there are three beautiful ways on how to do it. Three ways from the acronym ASKS. A S K. First, asks. It means we have to to make a request. You know, make a request, not your wants, but present to the Lord your needs. You know, say what you want. When we say asks, it means we have to to tell God the details of our plans. Prayer, I believe, it is an act of uh, humility. And asking is a gesture that belongs only for those who are humble. Because people full of pride, they don't ask, right? They think that they can do everything and anything by themselves. People full of pride, they don't need God. Because they make themselves God. Because they, they think they can make it by themselves. But the friends, asks. Because if we don't ask, we don't get what we want. Ask, but be humble. It means ask, but do not demand. You know, today it's good to ask ourselves, what do you really need in your life? God is giving us the gift of vision and dreams. So tell God your plans. Tell God your desires asks him like in our first reading of today like easter let us tell the lord lord help me i have no one but you you know after presenting the lord our concerns after telling the lord our petitions and our requests 
we have to proceed for the second step. And what's that? See. After using your mouth, use your eyes. Use your eyes to find, to discover what your mouth uttered. Friends, always remember that God always provides. Just open your eyes because I believe beautiful things come to those who seek. Like in our responsorial sum of today, you know, seek, search, discover it, look for it. Because on the day we call for help, God answer our prayers. When you seek it, God will answer your prayers. Finally, seeking is not enough. Searching is not enough. Do something more. That is, after using your mouth, after using your eyes, let your hands do the job. And what's the final point? Not. You know, don't stop on the level of asking. Don't quit on the level of don't quit on stage two. Continue to the next higher stage. And what's that? Knocked. Use your hands. And my friends, my brothers and sisters, find ways to achieve your success. And allow your hands to hold the trophy of your success. Say it. Seek it and satisfy yourself with the kindness and the generosity of God. And how to satisfy the kindness and the generosity of God? Remember the last slide of our gospel for today and it says, do to others what you have them do to you. In short, always say the words of kindness. Always look for the good of others. Always appreciate people. And always use your hands to show how good and kind you are. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, after presenting everything to the Lord, after you ask, after you seek it, after you knock it, can I suggest one more thing? You have to put another letter S. Make it plural. Ask. And what the last letter stands for? The letter S. Surrender. After you present everything to the Lord, surrender to God. Surrender everything to God. Why? Because sometimes what we ask and see in our visions and dreams are just limited. But when you surrender it everything to God, God will give us the horizon of His plans. Surrender because God does something better than what we ask for. Surrender to the Lord because what we see is just like a tips of an iceberg. Surrender because the door we knock is just one of the many doors of blessings. Other friends, other brothers and sisters, you will receive the very best. You will receive the best for you. If we know how to surrender everything to him. And this is what exactly happened to the life of Queen Easter in our first reading of today. God changed her mourning into gladness. God transformed her sorrow into joy. Why? Because she managed on how to surrender everything to the Lord. When you ask, be humble. When you search for something, be humble. And when you knock, be humble. Because God is close to the humble people. And when you are humble, God will not disappoint you. Other friends, other brothers and sisters, surrender everything to the Lord. Amen.